the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 335, Acts 20, verses 1 to 6, and Romans 1 to 3. Always through Jesus. Paul, who was sure that the name of Jesus was precious treasure that could not be exchanged for any other thing in the world, confessed that he was indebted to the gospel. First point. During the three months Paul spent in Corinth, he wrote Romans and sent it to the Roman church. Paul's first missionary journey that he started with Barnabas had its base camp in Antioch, Syria. Then Paul went with Silas and then joined together with Timothy and Luke to spread the gospel during his second missionary journey. Afterwards, Paul continued with his third missionary journey. During Paul's third missionary journey, he spent two years in Ephesus and the whole of Tyrannus, where he made disciples. After that, he went to Macedonia to go to Corinth and then strengthened the Corinthian church. Paul then strategized how to go about his ministry further. Paul desired to widen the territories of the gospel and to ultimately go to Spain, which was considered the endless of the earth at the time. What Paul wished to do was to fulfill Jesus' command and to become Jesus' witness in Jerusalem, all of Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. In order to fulfill this wish, Paul needed the cooperation of the Roman church. During his three months in Corinth, Paul wrote a letter to the Roman church. And before leaving Corinth, he wished to visit Jerusalem once again. Paul had a vision to create a network with all the churches and then go to Rome so that he could go to Spain. Therefore, he planned to first travel to Syria. However, at this time, there was a group of assassins who were most determined to kill Paul, and thus he had to find a different route. Second point, Paul's dream was for always to read to Jesus Christ. As Paul had never actually been to the Roman church, he introduced himself first, and the foundation of this letter was Galatians, which he wrote during his early ministry. Romans contains some questions about the gospel. First, who is Jesus Christ? Second, how can we become God's children? Third, what is God's righteousness? Fourth, what is the relationship between God's laws and the gospel? Fifth, what kind of life are Christians meant to live? In Romans, the expression, it is written, is referred to frequently. A very important and reoccurring theme in Romans is justification by faith. Another is the concept of service and servant. At the time of writing, Paul had completed his first, second, and third missionary journeys through God's grace. Furthermore, he had plans to go to Spain, which was at the time considered the end of the earth. Before doing so, Paul made plans to receive help from the Roman church. What Paul ultimately wanted was to proclaim that always lead to Jesus. Third point, Paul wrote that Jesus took the cross, resurrected, and then ascended into heaven all in order to fulfill the laws and the prophets. Paul wrote to the Roman church, explaining that the gospel was something that had been promised since the days of the Old Testament, the promise of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Paul moreover explained that he was given apostleship by God in order to spread the gospel of Jesus to foreign nations. Paul revealed the reason as to why he was writing the letter to the Roman church. The first 
was because he was so glad to hear that they had accepted the faith. The second was because he hoped to visit them. The third was an explanation as to why he wanted to visit them. The fourth part explained why he was unable to go immediately. Paul went on to explain that the reason for his letter was justification by faith. What Paul wanted was to tell them of God's great salvation and grace. Fourth point. Paul declared that God's judgment did not discriminate the Jews or the foreigners. Paul outlined the sins of humans and then wrote of God's judgment. Paul clarified that God's judgment did not discriminate anyone. In other words, God's judgment did not differ for the Jews and foreigners, but rather focused on the deeds. Paul then explained the standards of God's judgment. It did not matter whether the Jews knew the law or not. What really mattered was whether they were implementing the laws properly or not. Although the Jews boasted that they had and knew the laws, if they did not keep them, then they were equally sinners. The mission of the Jews from the early days was to know God's laws and to lead others into God's light. However, they often only pretended to keep them. Thus, it was not about knowing the laws, but actually implementing them. Paul declared that no one could avoid God's judgment in the end. Here, Paul reported to Jeremiah's words that they were to engrave God's message in their hearts. Fifth point, Paul taught that God's laws were there in order to help humans realize their sins and to understand that they were under God's judgment. In Romans chapters 1 and 2, Paul proclaimed that all foreigners and Jews were sinners, and that there was no righteous person. Thus, no one could avoid judgment. The only way this was possible was through believing in God's Son, Jesus Christ. Humans are unable to become righteous by the laws only. Thus, the laws are there to help humans realize that they are sinners and that judgment awaits them. Paul followed up by teaching the Roman church about justification by faith. Paul explained that salvation could not be achieved through human actions, and thus we had nothing to boast about. Salvation by faith, however, was for all humans. This Tong Dok app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Dok app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order and so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.